everyone i'm gonna keep this intro really short because i want to crack on with our wales vlog but i just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love on my last video uh it was dakota's introduction if you don't know who dakota is you should check the video out but i got so much love from it and lots of people joining the channel since i posted that there will be lots and lots of full content don't you worry there's even some included in this video because i'm so obsessed with her but if you want more daily fall content you can follow my instagram which is lily doll question but for now this is my wells vlog with ariel we had such a good show we did have a minor disaster at one point but it was a really really fun show so i really hope you guys enjoy this vlog all loaded oh nice poo thanks ariel all loaded ready for wales off we go all our stuff is down there just ariel in hours <laughs> grass eating her dinner she's got her hay net and she's also been treated to a fodder block yes <laughs> Here go. it's about nine o'clock now <laughs> Currently course walking the night before just to make it a bit easier on the day. This is just the British novice, Ariel's little warm-up class. She is hopefully doing her first newcomers this weekend, which is one turn. So hopefully we start off with the next few days of jumping with a good round, good easy round in the British novice. Morning homebrews. It's going to be very hot today. Where's the lorries? <laughs> I just laid it off. Hi everyone, I'm back with a voiceover. This is our British novice round and Ariel decided cantering up this alongside she was going to spook. Oh, there she goes. I hope you can forgive me for the lack of proper vlogging I was doing. It was all a little bit hectic and I don't unfortunately have a camera crew that follow me around at shows. <laughs> it's just done by myself. But this was Ariel's British Novice round. She jumped really, really well. It was a really good start to the show. She was a little bit lucky, but she was actually jumping very nicely. And this was a clear round. And I even attempted some jump off turns with her and I haven't really done much with her jump off wise or practiced or anything. I just kind of gave it a go as it was quite a small, you know, height. She can just pop around 90 quite easily. It's quite comfortable for her. And it was a very, very big class. There was about 86 people in the class and it took hours to get through. It was very, very hot that day as well. It was about... 30 degrees people that are in different countries would be like Lily that's nothing in England that's very hot for us <laughs> we don't do well in the heat but I did a turn here and she did it I was very impressed with her she's not actually the most turnable horse on a day-to-day -day basis so she really did help me out and I did another little turn up here I was very very chuffed with Ariel and we actually placed fifth in this class and bearing in mind I didn't really run her round for a placing. I did a couple of little turns and it was a big class. I was very, very happy that she placed. Well done. After our British novice round, we had a few hours to just put Ariel in the stable for a bit before our discovery round. Ariel decided to maintain her theme of spooking at the centre of the arena by having another little spook up this long side. There were flags here, but I did just lose her concentration there. And as we came round to fence one, she wasn't really focused on me. She was looking outside the arena and fence one came up a little quick. So I pushed her. She wasn't quite on it. And we had a little moment there. And I fiddled a little bit too much coming down to two, but I really wanted her to lock onto it. After that, we fell into our rhythm a bit more. I got Ariel's focus back and she was actually jumping so well. She gave an amazing feeling. She felt really 
on the money, she was so focused. Now this round, I wasn't really fussed about turns or times, I just wanted her to get her double clear, so we are trying to get her discovery double clears for next year. She jumped through this double so nicely, which was a shame when I lose her focus in a minute, and I don't want to, you know, point fingers. I could have ridden it better, she did take the piss a little bit, but there was a harrow going along with a tractor in the arena next door that you can see and she is so sensitive she definitely lost focus coming around this corner and as the jump was off a corner she just told me to do one off she goes she was like no girl I was like Ariel why would you do that anyway I gave her a smack she needed it I'm not going to hide the fact that I gave her a smack I did give her one but then she came around again and she jumped it nicely she did back off a little bit I had to be quite tough on her but she popped it, she gave a little sassy kick out over the fence, just telling me off for smacking her, and then after that, she finished the round absolutely beautifully, which was such a shame she had that silly duck out, but I did want to show it, because this is just Ariel, she isn't your consistent double clearer, she can really jump, but she's got such a sharp brain, and if you lose her concentration for even a second, you've lost her, and she does take the mick with it, but she finished the round on a high, and she actually jumped throughout the round so well so I really wasn't that bothered I was so happy with how she jumped and you know just more things to work on for us we jumped her two glasses this morning very good girl it's pretty noisy here Ariel was scared of the roof early in moving in typical Ariel fashion it's very scary very very scary Yes. Now, you're probably thinking, Lily, what are you wearing? Why are you dressed as Supergirl? Well, we were doing the Wales Ride and Run class, which is fancy dress. This was the super fun ride and run class. I'm not going to voice over the whole thing, but I just wanted to come on here really quickly to say, look at this idiot horse spooking out the crowd. I was struggling so much to get to fence one. I was like, you're going, Ariel. And then fence two, she just, you know, embodied Supergirl and just took a flyer. But for the rest of the video, I'm going to let you guys listen on, to the crowd and the commentator because it was such a fun class. Belgium. This is Ariel Z. Holly Bundy. She's going to be running as well. The cape's flapping. All oh, look at that. She's up and over. Almost ground to a halt, but used her superpowers then to get up and over the Oxford at fence number two. Now for the turn back. The cape fly. I think it's tucked in actually. Could have been quite interesting with that flapping about, but we've got Superwoman as well waiting on foot in the form of Holly Bundy. Right, this is good so far. Lily Chandler, nothing to add. She's really worked hard. She's really used those hands and heels around the corner. She's pushed for every single stride to these fences. And this is very much in touch. She's continuing down. Up and over the Oxer there and away goes Holly. Come on, Holly! Oh, oh, before the broom. <laughs> this might level her up. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Go on. Go on! Yes! Hey. 
I love I love <laughs> It has been a very long day I'm so tired Jumped three classes today Which I don't normally do Don't normally jump horse three times in a day Better stay away But the ride and run was a very last minute entry um, It was just a bit of fun She only jumped a few jumps She was so funny in it <laughs> um, To explain the ride and run She probably's probably got the gist anyway It's the horse and rider jumps around a course and then you have a runner who has to do an obstacle course because there was so much going on there was a crowd there was like a space hopper there was cones there was a giant water i was expecting errol to be very spooky i just said i'd be happy if she got around the fences <laughs> she did fake up a bit of a fuss going down to fence one as you guys saw she was spooking so we came into fence one sideways and then she launched fence two she like went to like back she was backing off loads and she went to like stop and i was like no girl we're not stopping and she just flew she channeled her inner superwoman for that one but we had loads of fun we didn't play so i mean we were nowhere near quick enough but there were some really really fast pairs but it was so much fun to do it was just such a really it was just such a fun class so tomorrow we are jumping the discovery and then the newcomers and then we're coming home i'm just gonna see how she jumps in the discovery tomorrow if i think she's too tired i won't do the newcomers but hopefully she'll have a good rest tonight she's had some recovery mash so she'll be feeling energetic and ready for tomorrow for our first newcomers it's ariel's first ever newcomers as is mine so we're just going for a bit of experience we'll see what happens okay so it's day two of wales we're having breakfast. Isla's having breakfast. I'm having breakfast. Ariel is currently being held by my dad outside the lorry grazing. It's about 8 o'clock. We had a bit of a later start today because I'm not jumping till about 11.30. At least that's when the class starts, but I'm quite early on in the class. Today is the day we do our first newcomers. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I think I'll be very nervous once I walk the course. Um, I'm going to see how she jumps in the discovery. If she feels tired, she did do quite a lot yesterday. I, I'm not going to jump it. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to find excuses not to jump it, but it's her first ever newcomers, and I just know that she is going to go a bit like, oof, what's this? But hopefully she feels good in the discovery and we'll jump it, but we'll see. Because I do want to make the best decision that counts for her, and I don't want her first step up to a height a new height to be on a day where she's not feeling her best so we'll see how she goes she did jump quite a lot yesterday if, she, if we just jump the discovery and i call it a day at that i'll still be very happy with the show so we'll see how it goes and i'll just take a lead from her if she feels good we'll do it if she feels like she's a bit tired or she's not jumping her best we'll just pack it up and go home but it's been a very fun show regardless Typical Welsh weather. The first day of jumping that we were there, it was boiling hot and we were all dying from the heat. And then the second day, it's raining. <laughs> uh, this was Ariel's discovery round. I didn't actually end up jumping the newcomers because she felt quite tired, which is perfectly reasonable. She had done three classes the day before. Like I said, not something I normally do, but the ride and run was a last minute entry and it was just a bit of a fun class. But she felt a little bit tired after this round, so I thought I'd just call it a day. But I am happy with how she jumped. I did have to work a little bit harder than usual to get her round and to make the distances. But she did jump quite well and I was happy. The main thing for me was that she jumped a clear round as she'd had that silly duck out the day before. So I was very on it with her. I was like, let's go. No excuses. We're doing a clear round. You can do it. You've seen all these fences. We don't need to faff around. I definitely was riding her a little bit defensively compared to the day before. But like I said, I really just wanted that clear round for her. I'm really trying to get her discovery clear rounds for next year. And she did provide. <laughs> she chipped on in there. She was quite honest for me there. Errol's pretty good, actually. If you do get a little bit off with your striding, she will always jump. Which is funny because even when you set her up perfectly, if she doesn't like the look of a fence, she does duck out the side. So she's honest until she's not. She's a funny one to explain. But I was very happy with this round. Despite the fact she felt a little bit lethargic, a little bit tired. I did have to push her quite a bit to make the distances. But it was a very neat and tidy round and it was a good way to end a really great show. And it's such a good two days of jumping. I had so much fun in Wales and we did end up coming home a day early. So we were meant to stay one more day, but obviously since the baby being born, I wanted to come home and be there with her. But I was so happy with that round from Ariel, a lovely clear. 
time to go. I've mucked out. Uh, stuff is all ready. Everyone's a bit damp because it's been raining. But we're cleaning up our stable and then we're heading off. Home to load. Everyone go home. She has a little bit of pain to load, so hopefully she decides she's going to go on. <laughs> She's very hit and miss for loading. Sometimes she goes on first time. Sometimes it takes one go. Sometimes you're there for 10, 15 minutes. So we'll see. She loves just like rearing on the ramp and leaping off. So hopefully she's in a good mood. Good girl. Went straight on. <laughs> and now a little video to end this vlog. My gorgeous baby. <laughs> I sat in her stable at eight o'clock at night because I missed her so much so I sat there for hours just letting her suck on my finger and just playing with her she's so cute 